All right, uh, welcome back everyone to, you know what, I'm gonna restart, that was too loud. Grounding and go. All right, and I never mind. I'm gonna do that again. I didn't like that. All right, welcome back, everyone. This is now the deferred episode in this series. I'm gonna try and keep this at around 55 minutes. I think the good time is like from 15 minutes to an hour 10. Last episode was basically a struggle to find out how to um, get this witch out of there. So we did manage, we did figure out, which probably wasn't super difficult. Uh, nevertheless, we still did it. It was to get the church guy into the hole of the devil. And now my idea was to make some sort of poison, but we couldn't figure out how. Now, I I thought about some ideas of things I, I or we have not done yet. I don't know, saying we just kind of seem fitting since I am talking to someone. And since, since this sense of talking to someone does influence uh, the way I play the game. So some things I hadn't done, and also something interesting to mention, I looked at the achievement in at, I looked at the Steam achievements, not the ones I haven't got yet, just the ones I had, or I just looked at the percentage that I had completed, and it said 37%, so free seven. <laughs> I do notice I sound a little bit Scottish when I sound to recordings, which I, which I find funny. I did used to live in Scotland. But focusing on the actual issue now, 37% uh, is not a lot. I thought, to be honest, I was near the end of the game. I thought I was crushing it. And then I was like, 37%, that really is not that much. Which means there's apparently still a lot to explore and a lot we haven't tried yet. Or there's a lot of just random achievements. I'm not sure. Here are some of the ideas I had of things that we haven't tried. We've not tried to get the... Um, the beer guy or the guy that sells us wine. We've not managed to get him as a person. Everyone else or most people here we've been able to collect as a card. But not the not the beer guy, the, the wine guy. I think maybe he is some a play that's maybe a place where we should try and maybe he has some ability which we can use to to get the witch. I wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't make sense, I feel. I'm not I can't remember what he was doing in the, in the starting sequence, but I think he might be a good place to look. I also had an idea with fish. Maybe we can cook the fish directly over the campfire. Maybe we can give a fish to someone. Maybe we can get the king again, or maybe we can get back into... Ah, I think that's what I wanted the fish for. I think the idea was that I can get a fish and uh, maybe get the bear. I'm not sure. Those are the ideas I had. But all right, as starting with most episodes, let's get a couple seconds to appreciate the game. I feel like my religion class, you used to have a, a teacher in religion. And she would also, she would always do like three minutes of, of quietude in the front of the class, which was basically just used for for most guys to giggle and uh, do, do nonsense for a couple minutes. Um, but I do think it's it's a good practice, especially because when I'm recording this, it's so easy for me to zone out and just to start talking. I even have a, a nice pumpkin here. I'm not a little bit scattered. I bought a nice pumpkin at the store. I wish I could show it to you guys. Maybe I could blend. I'm not going to bother blending a picture. It's a beautiful small pumpkin I bought in Germany. It's I think it's starting pumpkin season. I think October is perhaps the, the season of the most pumpkins. I'm not sure. And I just bought like a really nice pumpkin, gave it a good wash put it on my desk. I think it's a very grounding thing. It's quite beautiful in my opinion. And it also sort of fits the pilgrims. They haven't had pumpkins yet, but they would fit in well, like perhaps in that, in that garden over there. <laughs> All right, just a couple minutes. If you don't join in, I mean, you can skip it. But I think for me, this is a very, a very useful thing to, to really enjoy the game and not to just get caught up in, in things. All right.
And as usual with the breaks, they always seem longer than you think. I also just got paranoid to double check if I'm recording. <laughs> and I was, okay. How many minutes? That was six minutes. All right, fine. That works. That's a common thing. When you take a minute to calm down, suddenly your mind's like, oh, what about, are you recording? I did feel it was worthwhile to check though. I also like to see how the dragon is always peeking out its head. All right, I could spend longer time taking a break, but I think it's time to to get started with the with the gameplay. So what's the first thing I'm going to try? Well, what do we have at the moment? Uh, it looks like we're down here somewhere. Well, let's go to the beer guy. <laughs> I don't know. I guess he did have a beer thing, and yeah, he did. All right, so I didn't I didn't call him beer guy for no reason. I assume we just get there. <laughs> I mean, I guess the real key is to keep a sense of concentration uh, through all activities, even through doing this. Now he's tired. I don't know what sort of flowers they are now. I want to see what this does. Alright, now I just feel sorry. I feel like that's a common part of this game, is getting drunk. I mean, the idea was we do that we need to get this guy somehow, but I have no idea. It's like, nah. Alright, what about her? She wants beer. Okay. Oh, she just gets one. Oh, what if you just keep on getting them drunk? Maybe that's the trick. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know. That didn't do much. What if we get him drunk? Yeah, give me more money, give me another beer. And that poor guy, man, he's gonna be broke as hell. I just don't see anything useful we can do with that. Alright, I don't see what's happening there. I mean, we can always still tr try giving the 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 bartender guy something interesting to eat. We didn't have a fish, right? Well, let's go back here. Let's get a fish. Maybe we can get the... I've never tried cooking a fish over the campfire. Oh, we don't even have a worm right now. Okay, well, let's get the worm first. Use the transition times to, to get grounded. All right, back here. Gotta say, they, they have a good jam. Pilgrims, they have good music. Okay, now you get a fish. At least you can skip through the things, that's pretty nice. Now, another mushroom, fine. 
Okay, I thought you might be able to do that. I'm just not sure what to do with that, but... I guess that's what we have going. I'm gonna try giving that to the bear. I feel like that might be a move. Then I would maybe try giving it to the bartender. I mean, I don't know. Or cooking it. I'm not sure. Here. Ah, she does not interest it. Uh, so the bear doesn't seem to be that interested. And I doubt the king wants a fish. Uh, maybe the frog guy. <laughs> okay, that's not what I hoped for. It was angry now. I mean, this had some reaction. Okay, I feel bad for the guy. I don't know what to do. Oh, he's angry. Okay, I have no idea. Mm, this is tricky. I mean, maybe we can get something from having this cooked fish in here. I just don't want it to just throw it in. Okay, so you can do that. That's interesting. I feel like we've fed so much food to that guy, but it doesn't really do nothing. <laughs> like, that guy is so full on the stuff we gave him, but he's not, he's not doing it. There has to be some way to interact with that dude. I mean, this woman somehow seems connected to him, right? Poor woman. Oh, she just froze it in. <laughs> Alright, I guess they're gonna get another worm. I mean, maybe there's a very simple... I mean, there probably is something simple I just haven't thought of yet. We could try. We could try another. Um, a mu another mushroom stew, which we then give to the bar guy, though. Yeah. So what happens if we first cook the fish, then make a pot, and throw in the fish? Yep. <laughs> no, okay. That would be my best guess is to give him something again. Alright. We already have wine, so what does it do now? It just gives it back. What if we give it again? Gives it back. I don't know, maybe give the bear that? Like, I'm really unsure what, what the next step is at this point, to be honest. All right, going back to the king. I mean, maybe we did need the hunter to make... Uh... Hmm? 
Oh, we just leave right away. Come on, stay in here. Okay, so the king seems a dead end. Let's try the dragon again. I mean, these are some options. I'm pretty sure I've tried, but I'd rather, you know, try again. Because <laughs> I was kind of stuck. Okay, so what do we know it's not? We know it's not the dragon. We know it's not the king. It's probably not the bear and it's probably not the church. And it doesn't seem to be the hunter. So there's not that many spots that are left. Potentially the bar, potentially something at the witch, which we have not come up with yet, which I just can't think of right now. There's our tent, which I really don't know. And then there's this, this thing up there, which we've mostly ignored up until now. I mean, let's go back to the beginnings to where it all started. Maybe there's something there we missed. I missed. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. Maybe there's something here. I mean, this campfire seems pretty empty. I never came up with this idea. Interesting. Have I not? Never grilled the worm. Okay, so there's two different options now. Either the worm is used in some recipe or you can use that worm to do some sort of fishing. Interesting, either way. Okay, that's at least something. At least we <laughs> can cook the worms too. That's nice. Nah, he's gonna eat that. I do hear different music. No. This is another place. There was nothing here. Except something we did at right at the beginning. You can't plant a tree, you cannot add the worm. There might be something you can press I haven't thought of. I can't see that though. I don't know, do you think the old woman's gonna eat the worm? <laughs> I feel like she might. I mean, it's worth a try, I guess. I wouldn't think so. Like, I found a lot of things you can cook. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry. She likes it. <laughs> nice. I mean, a good question would be... What if I get the woman drunk enough? Like, does she keep staying drunk? <laughs> they all eat it. Okay. Okay, now, if does she stay drunk? Probably not, right? No. 
I mean, I might as well give her it, but I don't think that's gonna do nothing. She didn't even eat it, interesting. She cooks something with it. Which is interesting. I mean, yeah, I'm zoning out again. I'm just not sure what to do. <laughs> I mean, the, the worm, the fact we can cook the worm, that's interesting. That might allow us to do something different. Okay, we just got another fish. And it doesn't look like a special fish. Does not look like a special fish. Mm. We have a frog guy in the river, but there's nothing you can seem to do with him. Okay, she just burns it. <laughs> there's a frog guy in the river. There's a witch you just cannot get rid of. And there's a bartender you can't seem to do anything with. I already tried throwing the, the fish in the river. I would imagine the bear wants a fish. Why did he stay there? Oh, he didn't. That was a bug. Okay. I thought I had something there. <laughs> Sir, do you want a fish? You want a fish, don't you? We attack him. Okay, it goes right back to consciousness. There's something you can press that I'm missing. I mean, there's obviously something that I'm missing. Maybe I'm right about needing the hunter to make poison. Maybe I did mess that up. I might have messed that up. But is that really the case? That would be very weird, right? <laughs> Okay, so we can rule out even more. Oh, you can go right away from there. That's interesting. I didn't think that. Okay. Imagine I missed like an entire house. I doubt it, but it's possible. <laughs> quickly. Is I already that close? Oh, you can just double click. Oh my goodness. How did I not figure that out until now? <laughs> okay, that saves a lot of time. <laughs> if 
you are watching this and you're going like, I can't. You're like, how did he not figure that out? <laughs> all right. Well, I guess you can double click. Nice. Save some time. But all right. Castle, there's nothing. Bear, nothing. At least I'm not being able to get anything. Well, what would even make you go inside of the cave? I'm not sure. Hell, nothing. Church, nothing. Hunter, nothing. So all we have left is the tent, the witch, the flower bed, and the fires, and this, the bartender. Let me go back there. Just to make sure there isn't some way to do something. Because usually you just walk away, but here there's nothing. No, he's like, no. No worms. No. Did the worm again. What if it's super easy? I'm sure it's easy. I'm sure I'm missing something that's pretty simple. I've definitely not tried fishing down here. If it's possible. I'd think so. Yeah, no, fine. <sighs> Nothing I can seem to pick up. Let's try fishing down here. No fishing. Oh, come on. <laughs> also, no fishing. Come on. Maybe there is more you can do with this woman. I'm pretty sure I've tried threatening her though. Try cooking another mushroom stew and giving it to the barkeeper. <laughs> the witch likes mushrooms. She always does something with it. Hard to say what it is though. Okay, didn't like that. That's interesting. This game would be this hard. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do. I am clueless. Been there. I mean, here they do. I'd be. What? There may be. I'd imagine he just gets high if I give him to him. All right, to the witch it is. Well, this is like the most I don't know what to do part. She always uses the mushrooms. Give her the sword. 
The issue is that she dodges. You would think if you get her drunk, her reaction time would be worse. But she just goes right back. You'd think that if she's sleepy... Her reaction time would be worse, but she also goes right back. You could give her a fish. And she doesn't give a fuck. Definitely cooked something. I mean, she even she even has like a mushroom cloak. Well, she's definitely not up to no good. Interesting. Maybe I'll just have to like ask any commenters if anyone watches these at long ass videos. If you have any like non spoilery tips about what to do. Because I don't know how to how to move on from here. Like there's very little we've not tried. I mean, we could cook another another worm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Didn't we already try that? I don't even remember. I don't even remember if we already tried this. Do we even took? How do we even lose our alcohol? I'm not even sure we can. Can cook the mushroom doesn't do anything. Can cook this doesn't do anything. We can burn the flowers. Oh, we can cook the acorn. And nothing happens. Okay, I got to accept. question is if hmm. what if we don't need water for what we're trying to do we need water we need water we need water okay it doesn't matter yep yeah we always want water. Interesting. I feel like there must be something useful you can do with that dance. There has to be something useful, right? Definitely makes her happy. Yeah, I guess let's get this. I mean, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be anything we can do with the bug. We can definitely press it a lot. Maybe it's just like an Easter egg. Mm. Very, very strange. 
Very, very strange indeed. There's not that many options though. There's not that much more we could be missing. Nothing they want to add in there. Yeah. Uh, that's a that's a tricky thing. They don't ever seem to want to add anything to it. We have a vegetable <laughs> stew, a cooked. Uh, I swear. I mean, what's my strategy at this point? It's just cooking everything. <laughs> All right, we got a worm. We have got a stew. We got a cooked fish, a cooked a cooked mushroom, some wine. <laughs> Must be something. Here, what if we get you drunk? I'd probably try this. I'm sorry if you're seeing like the this for the fifth time doing the same thing. No, that's not what I meant to do. Damn it. What wait, what if we can water the flowers? I never thought of that. No, you can't. All right, never mind. <laughs> Maybe it could have been. No, you can't water the flower. You cannot water the flowers. That's a pity. Anything else you could water? Nothing I can think of right now. Maybe the wine guy can do something with, with water. I mean, if not, I'm just going to have to end the episode and be like, all right, maybe I get helpful comments, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> maybe I did mess it up and I did need the hunter. I'm not sure. It would make sense that he can do poison. It makes sense that the hunter guy could poison people. Doesn't want water. Something like no, nothing you could do there. Maybe she can try doing it here. <laughs> I mean, that place seems pretty vacant. I've not seen much going on there, but you never know. I mean, they can do a shroom trip, but if you do it at the witch's house, she usually, uh, she usually freaks out. Let's give him a word. Oh, you like the, okay, whatever. Not a way to get it. It was like, ah, oh, damn. Ready? 
I mean, he's scared, but I don't see what else to do. Yeah, I'll be completely honest with you. There are bugs flying around everywhere. I mean, since I'm so stuck, maybe either I'm missing something obvious, or we did need the hunter to somehow bring a poison. But there really isn't that much more we can try. Like, I'll try again to make a, um, to make like a stew, but... Wow, it's really... Are you gonna burn them? <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness. Alright, let's quickly get some new ones, at least this is quick. That really saves a lot of time. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make a flower stew, good for us. Flowers, do we have so much cooked stuff? Like, how is there nothing we can do? drink this I'm sure I've tried this but it doesn't help if she's tired like even if I get her drunk and tired and like get her tired again get her more drunk And get her tired, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's so tricky. Alright, well, how about this? Last attempt at the lake, and if I can't figure out anything, I'm going to quickly check if there's any achievement, which might, you know, give an inkling as what the, to what the next move is. I mean, of course we could say, hey, let's get him tired. And then let's try and catch him. Let's just try everything. <laughs> everything we have. Including this. Oh, we just got a fish. Oh. I never tried the acorn, that's true. Alright. I don't know. I am clueless. <laughs> I don't know what the next move is. And I think I might have fucked it up by already finishing the quest for the hunter so quickly. It wouldn't surprise me if that's why I fucked up. So let me check the the um, achievements real quick. Interesting. Maybe this is part of how you're supposed to play the game. <laughs> okay, so you're supposed to give the woman a fish. Uh, a good question is, how do you do that? I feel like I missed that opportunity, which makes sense. Okay, we got him drunk. 
We got the bear drunk, I see. Got the bear hungry. And we whacked the bear with the broom. And we also punched this guy. <laughs> Another broom. We shot the broom. We got the broom. And we got the lady back into her house. Okay, we got a lot of those. <laughs> got this one. What does he want? That looks like the dragon trunk mushroom stuff. The dragon drunk tired stuff. Okay, we cooked everything, I feel. <laughs> we got the princess to be, that's interesting. Oh, that wasn't that helpful. <laughs> it seemed like there were just simply alternative paths. What happens if I press new game? Does it start one right away? Okay, no. Okay, good. That's one of those risky maneuvers I might try every once in a while. All right, well, here's what I would say. First of all, Let's, let's try and get grounded <laughs> and not get too caught up in the, in that not figuring out. And if you're screaming at the screen like, no, of course you messed it up. You can't get any further. I mean, I never thought about that. There might be no end to this game. <laughs> I sort of assumed there was, there might not be. Maybe the only way to finish the game is to complete all achievements. I'm not sure. Well, that would be my best guess. Uh, I would say I'm going to cut it off here. I'm going to cut it off here. I'd say if you're listening to this right now, if you've played Pilgrims, if you have any ideas, and you have any non-spoiler um, suggestions or any info like, hey, actually, it turns out you're right. You can't do this. You need to poison and you, and you can't make it anymore. So you're basically you're stuck. You need to make a new game. Then I'd appreciate that. That would be helpful to know. And if I get any interesting comments, I might come back to here. I'd say for now, I'm done with Pilgrims. Um, I'm definitely not done with Pilgrims long term. I'm sure there's a way to get this woman back to her house. I feel like that would be silly to stop here. But for now, I'm going to say I'm taking a break. Taking a break from Pilgrims until perhaps someone has an interesting idea on how to, on how to progress here. But I feel like I've tried close to everything and I feel like we did need the hunter to make some sort of poison so maybe the game doesn't even have like a distinct end I never thought of that it's possible I imagine though if you if you've helped everyone then that's sort of where you're at so perhaps I'll make another another series in the future where I am um, where I just play a new game, I quickly go through it, and then we can see if we can progress here. Okay, I've made my point. God bless everyone listening to this. Not because I'm Christian, by the way. <laughs> That's just my way of saying I wish you a good day. And let's let's use those last couple minutes. Maybe it's the last minutes I ever play Pilgrims. I don't think so. I have some other games I have in the back burner. Some other series I'm, I'm looking at right now. I think for now I'm done. I think I was probably right about not being able to progress further with what I have. 
and uh, let's see let's see what comes maybe let's maybe we'll play it again maybe not i'm also open to trying new stuff so maybe this isn't something that needs to um, to be finished right now nevertheless it's not necessarily about finishing this game is quite quite wonderful for sure and let's let's take the last couple minutes uh, just to take in how, how beautiful the game actually is You know, it's not until now, looking at the map, I realized that you can actually see the path of where the people walk. So now it's pretty clear that there's no other path. Because there's no other... Um, there's no path. The paths, you can see where the paths lead. That's what I'm trying to say. And in case this is the last time I play this game, I can't... I'm not going to make guarantees I'm going to continue it. There are other things I find interesting, but as I said, if there's encouraging comments that, hey, there's something you missed in this direction, perhaps something vague, like, hey, you can try something out, non-spoiler, or any other tips, I might, I might get back to it. So here are the people that made the game. I do wonder what this stands for. Like, I'm pretty sure music, story, programming oh no this is probably voices <laughs> Vo voices music programming story maybe i'm not sure what this is i'm definitely not sure what this is supporters question mark all right that's that I hope you enjoyed this this first playthrough series. It's not a playthrough, right? I'm not trying to play through the game. It's really trying to experience the game. All right? I'm not quite sure how I'm going to call these sessions. Whatever it is, whatever you want to call it, every name you want to fixate on it. Hope you enjoyed it. And you should be... Um, there should be some other stuff coming up. Some other things coming up on the channel. So uh, let's see what happens. Thank you for watching that, and uh, I'll see you then in another episode, perhaps. <laughs>